Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and this is Quick Shifts. Today we have a new, well relatively new product for you guys to review and that is brought to us by EVIQO. This is a level two portable charger that can run up to 48 amps, 240 volts, and it can do 11.5 kilowatts per hour charging, which can be up to about 50 miles of range per hour. Now to get that full 48 amps, you do have to hardwire this unit though. And without the hardwire, it's recommended that 40 amps is gonna be the max here. This company is out of Europe and uh, they have production in China something that I know a lot of my viewers like to know that, so let me declare that right up front. But uh, I've personally talked and chatted with these guys before taking them on, and they're a great crew of guys, and they seem to know their stuff. They're not new to the market, they've been around for a little bit, and uh, they're enthusiasts like you and I. And they, they've made some key development points in this product that are important to those of us who have been around this market a little bit. So one of those things that they've done if they have a little bit longer cord for this, for the plug-in unit, it does use a NEMA 1450 plug style. They made sure that this was certified. So it's got UL, ETL, and Energy, Source, Energy Star and FCC certification on this unit. It's also waterproof IP66, uh, waterproof and NEMA 4 standards. So they put a lot of development into this and one important feature that made me want to give this a try was the fact that it has an app on your cellular device and that app has a lot of functionality and you can adjust settings you can adjust timing you can adjust even the uh, power output of this unit and it gives you analytics that for me are good to have i like to look at the consumption rates and the charging rates and all of that that's just uh, how i like to do things and i'm analytic like that so let's go ahead and open this up and see what this looks like straight out of the box. Seems to be very sturdy, very thick packaging, so in shipping it shouldn't be damaged. And it is a box inside of a box. Very well packaged. Again, it has some of the uh, information on here. Again, this is going to be an SAE J1772 unit. Uh, it is designed to be installed inside or outside and it has an operating temperature range from negative 22 degrees up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Or for those who use Celsius, that's negative 30 Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. And it is Wi-Fi enabled and it weighs about 14.3 pounds. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get in here. They have a, a nice little flyer on the top. They have uh, some instructions in here, it looks and an instruction manual. And here's the unit itself. I'll go ahead and pull this out. Looks to be very nicely packaged. Plenty of styrofoam in here. We'll pull the unit up and out. And looks like a wall mount here. We'll take a look at that. Some hardware. And that's all that comes in the box. Very nicely packaged, nice box. Let's go ahead and open these up. So uh, again, we have hardware. I'm sure the instructions will tell us how to mount this. Set that off to the side. And it looks like we have a wall mount for the J1772 plug with mounting brackets on the back that we can install. So this is secure on the wall for when you're not using the unit. So here's the unit itself. You can see it has nice logoing on front. I believe this will light up, but we'll find out when we get it out there. You have, again, the 25 foot cable that'll reach to your car and a 3.1 foot cable for plugging in the NEMA. Let's take a look at the J1772. All right, so this is a nice solid unit it is covered in a rubber coating, it appears. It has a very nice feel to it. 
and it feels like it'd be nice and grippy if you were to be someone who's mounting this outdoors, someone who's gonna have it exposed to elements and in icy climates, this feels very solid. And the locking grabbing unit on top seems to be made of aluminum and it has a nice metal pivot point in there. It looks like a very nice plug. And of course it's got the dust cap on here. And let's take a look at the NEMA plug. So when you're installing a unit like this, you wanna make sure that your house is set up for it that you have a installed NEMA 1450, you have the right breaker for your power. So for running this level two charger at 40 amps, you're gonna be okay using the NEMA 1450 on a 50 amp breaker like I have it. If you were actually gonna hardwire this in to run that 50 or 48 amps as it can run, you're gonna to wanna to up your breaker. You don't wanna exceed the limits of your power unit and you wanna make sure that your house has the right limit for that NEMA 1450 before you even install it. So again, a nice NEMA 1450, and this looks to be that 3.1 feet like they said it was, which should make this easy to install. All right, so looking at the back side of this, there is a mounting plate on here that you use to mount this to your wall when you install this. And also on the side, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to hold this still. It has all the warning indicators for when you're using the unit. So if one of these warnings come up, you can look at that right away to see if you can diagnose it to correct the issue. So this seems to be a very solid unit, metal encased, a well-made product. Let's go ahead, take this thing out to the garage, get it installed and see how it does. So before we can go ahead and get this unit mounted up, we had to take this backing plate off. And to do that, there were these two bolts. One was on this side of the unit and one on this side of the unit. And you had to use this special Allen head tool, but it's got a special keyway in there that you have to use in order to get into these security bolts. But go ahead and take those off and get this bracket off. Next, we're gonna use the template that is supplied by EVIQO and we're gonna go ahead and mark this up on the wall and use the template and then use our drill bit and our trusty old drill and go ahead and make the holes in the wall. And then we'll use these bolts and fasten those down. All right, so first thing we did was we went ahead and marked up the stencil on here so we know exactly where to drill our holes. Now we'll break out the drill, drill those holes out And now we're ready to go ahead and grab the, the bracket and mount that in. Now because of my situation where I'm going into drywall, I had to have a slight change of plans. So those holes I originally drilled, I'm going to be putting in these into those holes so I can run screws in. That way it'll give me a secure fixture to this drywall. Now, uh, for your, wherever you're mounting it, make sure you consider what you're mounting it to. I know there's better ways to mount than this, but for now, I wanna have these two next to each other so I can interchange between them as I do testing and whatnot, trying these units out. So in this case, this is how I'm gonna mount these. So you guys are catching this real time. I do make mistakes. I try to fix them, and I might come up with a better way later on to mount these up on this wall. I might put a backing up there and mount it to that. But for now, let's get these up here so we can start testing this unit. And then we'll come back around and start running the screws with washers into here to secure this in its place. All right, we got the bracket mounted. So now we're gonna go ahead, grab the EVIQO and put it on the mount. There we go. And then we'll put those two side bolts in here to secure it. You don't have to go crazy with these, just snug them down. There you go, the unit's installed on the wall. Now we can go ahead and use the extra long cord here to plug the unit in. And I'm gonna use my existing mounts that I have for securing the uh, J1772 connector. Here we go. And there the unit powers up for the first time. Now that it's blinking blue, that's exactly what it's supposed to do, which means it's ready for configuration. So now 
the next steps naturally for the instructions are to go ahead and download the app and start configuring this unit. All so right, we'll... so we've downloaded the app. We've gone through the setup process, which includes putting in your email, your address, and some basic information, your Wi-Fi, and connecting to your network. Once you do that, it immediately finds the device. You get to log in your vehicle, and then you've got all kinds of different things in the app here. It'll check your or track your costs based off of your usage and how much power you've taken, and it'll give you totals for that. And it'll keep all of that in here. You can use a slider to adjust your amperage up and down. Right now, because we're in a NEMA 1450, and by default of the vehicle, it comes in set up for 40 amps. If you want 48 amps, you need to hardwire the unit and make sure you have proper breaker set up for that. And I would recommend doing that, having an electrician do that. You can also set up your schedule. If you have different rates in different areas, you want to make sure that you're optimizing and using the lowest rate to charge your vehicle. We'll go ahead and grab the Tesla, pull it up, plug it in, and see how it works. So at this point, you guys will notice I got a, a message immediately. We'll go ahead and click on that message. And it tells us the charging has started. Keep track of your process in real time. So then we go over to the app and we can see that it's been plugged in for about two minutes now. Amperage is right at 40. We're getting 9.93 kilowatts and our voltage is at 244. And if you guys watch, I can actually throttle this down and it immediately throttles it down at the charger. So if I wanted to do a slower charge, which is better for the battery, I can go ahead and do that if I have more time. Or if I need to do the fastest charge, I can go ahead and change that here in the settings. I can also stop it and I can, again, go back and schedule it if I'd like to. So now we can click on notifications and it tells us charging started. So as you guys can see now, the blinking blue cue lets us know that it is actively charging. We checked it on our app, we can see those stats. We can adjust our charge up and down and the scheduling. The EVIQO level two charger, capable of 48 amps, charging at 40 amps now because we have the NEMA 1450 plugged in, but it's doing a great job. So we'll keep testing this for a few days, a few weeks, and uh, we'll post back up and let you guys know what we think of it. But for right now, it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. It says it's charging 40 amps and that we're going to be charged up in four and a half hours. Just to show you guys in real time on the app, I changed the app to say uh, 20 amps, and you can see on the Tesla screen itself that it's adjusted for that. The time has increased, and the Tesla is now showing 20 amps being charged into the vehicle. So everyone, thanks for joining us for this video. As you can see, we now have the EV IQO set up and charging, and hooked into our Wi-Fi, hooked into our phone so we can control and monitor it from there. The Grizzly is still up there in case we want to use that. This is Old Faithful. I love this Grizzly. I have another review on that if you want to see it. But this might be my new favorite. I love being able to tap into it with the app, which this one does not have Wi-Fi. You plug it in and it goes, and you have to do any scheduling through your vehicle if your vehicle is capable of that. So stick with us. We'll do an update on this in a little bit. And uh, for now, it's doing exactly what we want. Might be my new favorite. I'm loving this thing. We'll have a link down below for you guys to use. Uh, if you use that link, it does help us out. We appreciate that. Thank you for signing in. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching. Drop us comments. Tell us what you want to hear, what you want to know. If you have any questions, we'll do our best to try and answer those for you. But thank you, everyone. We really appreciate it. Share this with your friends. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys later.